to try to drag these games. He says the longer the game goes, the higher he feels his percentage of, of winning is. Yep. So. It also favors his style when you make a Protoss switch, their tech, because, of course, he goes the whole game. He's building up his mech tech, and then he can go to Sky Terran. Mm -hmm. Well, those share, those share an upgrade path. When Behemoth has to suddenly switch to three Stargates, guess what? You're zero zero. So you're going to be like three three battle cruisers and Vikings against zero zero air. That's just going to get ripped apart. So it kind of transitions well for Terran into the late game like that. But you have to get there. Yeah. Absolutely. Alrighty. Here we are, guys, gals, everybody watching on Twitch. Ascended Starcraft in the bottom right hand corner of. Star Station. Saber, our red Terran player, who managed to astoundingly come back in that last <laughs> game and has uh, now set himself up for an even set, which is just so ridiculous to believe. 2-2, two, 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 a lot better than being down 3-1, which he almost yeah. was. Very true. Very true. And up here, the player that uh, that did lose that map is our orange Protoss. Both of them have been consistent with color so far. Mm -hmm. And that is our orange Protoss behemoth. All right. It's corona and away probes there. So what are you guys feeling this time? Game five, I feel like all the tricks up people's sleeves between these two guys in the last couple rounds have all been exhausted. That's, that's what I said at the start of the day, and yet we see, still keep seeing tricks. We do actually have, finally, the SCV scout out uh, by Saber, which is great. But well, he will get an idea of what's going on. And that, well, that and on top of that, he's sitting here going, you know, it's finally a two-person map. I know where to scout. <laughs> yeah. And he's not grabbing a gas here yet, either. This is so, the question, uh, yeah. Like, he's already 50 gas, which is the biggest deficit we've seen. If he starts yeah. in a simulator right now, it will be at least 50 now 60 gas behind the other assimilator. Yeah. Yeah, very true, but uh, only the one gas there for Behemoth so far, and he's only mining that with two probes, so going at a, a slower pace. You often see the 2-2, two -two, but here just two on one. Well, and, and you know, right now, I, I'm thinking as Saber, there's no way you're going to get Saber to be aggressive early on in any of these remaining games. Four, oh, yeah, no. four times out of four, <laughs> Behemoth has proxied him. You know, yeah, he's just going to get a command center here. He yeah, should actually he, be he said screw gas this time. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Two zealots. Yeah, that's, that's quite interesting. Quite interesting. Yeah. yeah, and he doesn't... So I almost half expected him to cancel that one and switch as soon as the cyber was done, but he doesn't. Saber will build this on the low ground. Which is also a bit of a change. He's been building, not only building the command center in his main, these previous games, but building it and not moving it. Just using it up there to make more SCVs until considerably later. All right, yeah. well, a supply block from Behemoth is going to slow down his build quite substantially. I think he wants to go um, for a uh, big gateway pressure after this Nexus. So I think we're going to see, you know, Nexus and, and maybe a couple probes. We've seen uh, MC do builds like this where you get the expansion but don't go for the massive economy behind it. Right. Mm -hmm. um, but we'll have to see, you know, this SCV is able to scout everything right now. But I, what I'm noting is that he's halting probe production and he's not chrono boosting workers. He's just working on this sentry. So I really feel like it's Nexus into... Yeah, I, I agree. This is actually kind of what I was alluding to. You're on the flat ground here so you don't have to go up a ramp you get two sentries early here and those provide you enough force fields to obviously just kill off the bunker yep. prevent them from repairing it zealots go in you get somewhere between four or five gateways and just go with that you, you, you want to know something oh no god oh just uh something that's really interesting is that this ramp is very much like the ramp on shattered temple which is a super old school map but yeah. it's uh, a ramp that is so easily force fielded as an attack. Yes. Yeah, it's so forward. That's, uh, yeah, it's, I mean, it's even ahead of where the bunker is. Yeah. Where that usually is positioned. So, yeah, it's a really good one. Now, he will see actually that proxy pylon. So, hopefully, that gives him the indication hey, you know, he will go kill that off. 
but uh, only only three gateways for Behemoth. Yeah, I'm kind of surprised about that too. Yeah, this is usually at this timing. It should be like not necessary. It should be. It's usually five. I also yeah. expected Saber to drop a scan by now, and uh, he didn't do that either. Because as soon as that SCV in. was um, picked off, there I was like, little... "There goes the tech." And he's going by this getting... time. And he's getting the bunker in the high ground. He's got a lot of Marines here. Um, he actually just kept most of his SUVs up in the main. And I think he's going to be able to hold this, this is risky. relatively time warp, easy. Time warp could be a big yeah. problem, but only if Behemoth goes for it and he did not. He could have potentially baited those Marines with his mothership core, but now it's not so much of an issue. And oh, the SUVs in position. Yeah, they're trying to get the repairs. This will fall. But I don't know if he's got enough uh, follow through to keep going. No Other ship core drops, and yeah, this is going to get repelled. Yeah, catching those Marines when they had pushed out would have been something that Behemoth could have certainly gotten away with. But uh, now, maybe he'll force the lift and he can transition from here. Um, he loses a second sentry, which he, did, he really didn't want to do. Nice micro. Yeah. With a couple that. Marauders, he's not even going to get a lift here. Just a few worker kills, and he'll have to go home. Could do another warp in and fight this. Um, but it looks like no, he's going to warp in the units at home, and that means that Behemoth is on this push. Yeah, playing it safe. Both players here, it's like, you're down to a best of three, really. This is a three game set now. Yeah. Uh, wipe the slates clean, and what, what, what's the differential here? We're playing for about $100 for him? <laughs> yep. Yeah, something like that. So uh, now there is still a big worker lead uh, for the Protoss, like we said. That was only on three gates, so the yeah. economy did not stop. When you do four gates, you kind of, or four gates or five gates, you kind of cut all your probes. He was making probes throughout that. That's Made good. for a lot weaker, weaker push, but it means <laughs> that he can follow. Remember the um, do a five gate, you're all in. What we saw in heavy rain, that's what he's doing here. It's gonna yes. be a colossus all in follow up, uh, with the forge and the robo yeah, you're and right. the really fast third and fourth gases. This is exactly what Behemoth's gonna go for, and it worked for him on heavy rain. There's a good chance that it could work for him here. So, uh, the thing is that this time around, Saber's got a really nice fast stim. He's not going for mech. Uh, it's just going to be, can he scout it? Can he make Vikings? That's right. If he prepares for it, he could hold it. He didn't lose a bunch of economy like last time. And Viking's pretty easy to make since this time he actually has a reactor on his starport. Uh, he's had a couple tech labs lately. And you're right, that on, what was it, on Heavy Rain, he, uh, he just didn't have any Vikings. Yeah, he had the Raven. What? Yeah, that's right. Stuff hold, like on, that. hold on, hold on. A second robotics facility? Well, that's, that's definitely interesting. Yeah, well, that he seems... went three before. He could just go mass zealot into Double Colossi, which, I mean, is really the only possibility that I see here. Yeah, uh, the only that's gotta way be what he's doing. Gas for it. No. Uh, does he have. He doesn't have and actually has not started yet the range for the Colossus either. <laughs> uh, we saw that this the other, um, the other, oh, what was it? Was it GSL? Mm, I'm trying to remember. But uh, a Protoss player who had, no, it was at IEM. Um, it was actually, it was CJ Antis Hero. And he just straight forgot Colossus range and still managed <laughs> to win the game against uh, Terra yeah, Player. I think I remember that. <laughs> Yeah, it was uh, on yeah. Frost. But here we are now. Uh, Colossus Range will actually be started up. And I'm so perplexed by this second Robo because, like, there's just not enough gas, oh, dude. No. Yeah, you're not going to be able to support this. Or at least, uh, like you said, he, he might just get all zealots and, yeah. just, and maybe he could do it just barely. But it's hard to keep up. Well, that makes it that he can't deal with the Vikings with the problem. So if you actually just run away with the bio, you'll take temporary damage. That's nice the thing. Will Saber deal with it well? But for now, let's talk about this drop. I'll talk about more about that later. Will he actually be able to cancel oh, this? Oh man, could he really? If he does. No, he got it. That's fair. Yeah. That would have been a little pick off there. Double tier attack coming on in. Bio down bottom certainly going to be dealt with. The bio up top. Well, can he keep the Colossi alive? He sent them with no support at all, which is a big mistake from Behemoth. One of the Colossi is likely to go down, but no, he kites back because of the Zealots. And okay. Oh Damn, man. Wow. That was decent. Decent hold there. That could have been way worse. Yeah, could have. he could have easily lost both Colossus, but of course Saber's attention was split. Yeah, he he didn't want to risk losing that army. All right, so let's talk about this attack from Behemoth. His stalker count is at five. 
it's really oh, difficult to uh, deal with Vikings. at exactly the wrong time. <laughs> this is too much. This is too many units being lost by Saber. In addition to the fast third that he took and the lack, the complete and utter lack of any Vikings. He's making one. He has zero. His opponent has three Colossi, about to be five. Behemoth is going to push forward here, and there's going to be nothing at all to deal with the towering splash damage. Instead, oh Saber's going to go for a counterattack, and that is going to be his only hope for taking this game. Yeah, you think he'll he's just going to wipe everything out. I've seen him do no, it. I, I don't think he will. I think he can just... He must realize if there's this much over here, I can just go. Oh, but his Colossus is going to fall Thanks, immediately, and that was a huge saving grace for Behemoth. And now, what does he do? He may be forced what to... What is he doing? He's not is engaging. Is he coming back long? He can't he does. Home. He can't decide which way oh, to go. he's indecisive. The only thing I think that would be a wrong decision is not deciding, and he does go and attack now. Oh, that's good so news for him. He escapes one probe, and if he can get that probe to this side of the map and start at Nexus, I think he's in a great position. Look at the pile. Oh, oh, my. My. And Colossus are like, we got it. Yeah, Behemoth does have a lot of resources, so there shouldn't be a problem rebuilding if he does. <laughs> Here we go again. Yeah. <laughs> have we seen this yeah, before? Check it all out. Look at all that pile in your head attack. Okay, so Colossi stand here to fight. This is one of the things that Behemoth does to sell it, and I think my Saber doesn't mind base races. He's yeah. not just splitting his army up right now. Like, there's no reason for the the uh, the ground zealots or the stalkers to stay here. They can yeah. actually go elsewhere and go hit these barracks and the buildings that are flying away, but instead, they're helping the Colossi kill things like some bloody folks. Oh! He's also not targeting the engineer, which we really need. He teardrop the SUV via probes. Yeah, this plus two weapons just finishes with him in the uh, base. He That's kind of... Yeah, he kills all the depots, but lets the upgrades live. Behemoth. Yeah, that kind of um, sucks. It, it's one of his biggest weaknesses. I think he's trying to save his base. Yeah, he is trying to run back. I and it's over Stan. Uh, oh, yeah. A lot of bio does die here. Yeah, it was so stimmed up. Either way, he can slaughter this engagement heads up, and yeah. as long as he saves a probe, because oh. he could get into a position where he's too supply blocked to actually build any workers, but if he can hold on to his workers, Behemoth looks like he takes this game, assuming he doesn't get picked apart. Yeah, I mean, how much energy? There's no energy on any of these medevacs, they're essentially useless. I yeah. mean, heads up, like, his arm is slaughtered. Oh yeah, absolutely. He's got to play cat and mouse with this. He can't engage it yeah. in any universe. He just has to. Behemoth doesn't have enough minerals for another nexus, though. So he's got to kill the two that exist, yeah. and then just hope that he can never get back to. Uh, Behemoth's got to get to mining too. Yeah. Yep. His biggest priority right now is going to be getting vision on as many bases as possible, um, and because he has to prevent Saber from starting up again, and then protecting his own investments. Once this whole, this Protoss army is going to come in permanently Whoa. defend this Nexus, and then that's that. Yeah, I was going to say, right. I don't know if he wants to split this up. Oh, wow. That was not... He, need, he needs the Colossus there with him. Yep. Uh, it looks like Saber's going to take this, though. This is not really... Nah, he will have to retreat here now. Uh, I mean, he, that was uh, very good for him for about six seconds. He had a really good engagement there. He killed a lot of stalkers, which uh, is really nice, but he did trade a bunch of bio. Um, he's down at a whole nother swath of supply. And that makes it, the thing that I don't like about Saber losing units, that I feel like Saber's units are more valuable than Behemoth's right now, is not necessarily because of like who can make more, but Saber can land in a place and quickly snipe down a base like he's about to do to this bottom nexus. Yeah. Behemoth, his units are not mobile. And so, one thing so important here, there's now two Vikings coming out that, uh, <laughs> that starport was never taken down, he's and so it's there, down. and he's going to continue to make more. He it's will be able to pick off this next just before there's any response. But there's only four stalkers on the map. If those are killed, then all the classes are forfeit. Yep. That's actually an excellent point. That store, starport changes everything. Uh, the, I'd uh, really the like to see say, uh, Behemoth come over here and deal with this tech that he just left sitting here. 
I want to see a suicide rush of Marines and Marauders taking out the Stalkers, <laughs> and then just yeah, uh, whatever. And then the the Vikings win. Yeah, yeah. If he can prevent more units from being made, and I think he he can. Behemoth has a stable economy here now, but yeah. I mean, do you think it's just, is it just me or does it seem like Behemoth is just still very indecisive in this matchup? Well, Behemoth, he yeah, he doesn't know what to do at this point. It's very clear that the area which he struggles is base races. We mentioned it earlier. If Saber can do base races, Saber's is probably going to win. Um, and if here Saber we are. Saber just like, attacks this Nexus right now, and he will. Then no mothership. There's board. not currently enough. He's got to cancel this gateway before it goes down, because he doesn't have enough minerals to remake a Nexus. It does complete. Two oh, stalkers. Kill the, kill the remaining stalkers. <laughs> How many units did he lose, though? Uh, yeah, he but... lost a decent number, but it does. I don't think it matters now. Saber there can mine now, be, yeah. There cannot be another Nexus build. The worst case scenario is Saber drop. Yes. And I think Saber will still win. Saber needs to put the, you know, this base floating up top doing nothing. Just set it down, get some minerals, start yeah. building again. Um... This just looks like another game. This looks like the second game in a row that Behemoth should have won. And I'm yeah, sorry. Yeah, I agree. It's base races. He's, he's just yeah. uh, doesn't know so much what to do with base yeah. race. He does have that command center burning down in the upper right. Or bottom right. Upper left, though, is a whole different story. Another Viking gets out because he goes for the eBay instead of the uh, he's just, Starport. Yeah. He's not oh, you attacking know what? with half his units. I actually want to highlight towards this. I don't know that it's Behemoth doesn't know what to do in a base race as much as he just can't do as many things at once. Base races are super APM intensive, yeah. and Saber's almost oh, double the time. APM of Behemoth. So as strong as Behemoth's strategic making may be, like when you have when you're fighting in five different locations around the map, like what happens in base races, like base races are super brood war scenario, right? Like you're all you're sprawled across the map, really rewarding for high APM, and Saber's is like yeah double. Yeah, it was quite a bit higher. Um, I'd like to see, I mean, yeah, this it, it, it is just these stalkers remaining that are the anti-air. I really Saber feel bad. I barracks around this one pylon. <laughs> I, I really feel this, bad for Behemoth. I like you guys who keep saying here, and it's just bugging the crap out of me. Behemoth's won the last two games, but he just doesn't seem to know what to do in the situation. And yeah. he's just not moving fast enough to take care of it. So much of this one came down to Saber being able to force the base race by sniping that single Colossus that had spawned. If Behemoth warped in a wave of Zealots and supported that single Colossus and kited with it, it had extended thermal lens. That's it. He would have been able to hold those drops. It would have been GG. And yeah. And well, we'll he will throw away a lot of this bio here. Yeah, it and won't it, matter. It's interesting force fields. Unfortunately, force fields do not work on meta bad. As you said, there's no stalkers left at this point. There's zero. The Vikings come in and clean this up. All he has to do is lift his buildings, and here comes the Viking hit squad to win the game. Oh, and the Manor Mule. <laughs> and it all goes to. There's one sentry. But, but that's not gonna help. Tickle, tickle. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, this is gonna be. This is gonna go to Saber. He's, he's dancing his units. Yeah, Mule's dancing around. Today yeah. I learned Mule's dance. Yeah. GG. That's it. Behemoth with one supply. I don't even know where it is. It's gone. It's an observer and it's dead. <laughs> yeah, he even got that for good measure. Yes.